a busy week is ahead for the market and for traders. Let's turn to Dan Deming at KKM Financial. Good to see you there, Dan. And what do you think will be at the top of the minds of traders, especially as we will be getting that fresh round of earnings this week? Yeah, I think so, Angie. You know, we're kicking off with the banks. Uh, so I think the market's going to be very focused on that narrative as you move through the week. But there's a lot of other things uh, also, also out there that the market's going to be focused on, particularly some of the data points. We're data heavy on uh, Thursday, where we have retail sales plus, plus a bunch of other data points. But and also CPI, with that PPI number we saw last week, Angie, I think a lot of people are now looking at that CPI number very closely. What about the volatility index, the VIX? It's been trending lower. And then somebody came in with that massive VIX trade, suggesting that the VIX could rise going into summer. Do you think that will mean a lower stock market? No, I'm not a subscriber of that, Angie, because the VIX is used a lot to, to some extent as a hedging tool as well. So, you know, they're playing for a range. And I guess if it gets to that range, then they want to have some protection on. I don't know if it's necessarily something where they play. They're playing for that to happen. Uh, it's my feeling that they're putting that position on to hedge out uh, possible long exposure to the market. So, I mean, I could be wrong, but uh, ultimately I know that has uh, received a lot of press the last couple of days, but ultimately uh, I don't really foresee that being the case. I don't think you can really predict that, but all, all, all said, I think it's more about probably having long exposure captured a big part of this up move and maybe willing to spend that money to hedge out some downside exposure. Always good to get your trader take. Thank you, Dan. Thanks, Angie. More Business First AM. Check us out on social media. We're on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. And go to businessfirstam.com for where to see our show on TV.